Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Pops Productions Tech. Today I have here with me the Galaxy S21 5G and as you can see this device is currently um, experiencing a factory reset protection lock um, also known as the Google lock um, so basically you have your account on there you decide to wipe your device maybe you forgot your pin and you decided to wipe the device however you forgot your account information although you know there are various ways of, of, of um, gaining access to your account with your phone number or recovery email and other um, various methods but if you do not um, have any other option then you would have to bypass this um, so the method today will require a PC um, so what you need is the Samsung USB drivers all links required um, for this video today will be in the description um, so you need Samsung USB drivers and the Samsung FRP tool okay uh, before you um, go onto your PC of course we need to do a follow a few steps on the device um, so first of all we want to enable the assistant so now I'm one handed because I have my phone uh, I have the phone holding in the other hand so I'm one handed right now so you have the power button and the volume up button so you hold this button simultaneously because you want to enable the assistant um, the talk back sorry so power and volume up hold those buttons and release now you select use and you do it again okay so talk back on so Press and hold power and volume up once, Page then one do it five. again. I'm going to lower the volume. This can be pretty annoying sometimes, so I'm going to lower the volume. Um, okay, so now uh, what you want to do is um, uh, L shape, but this time you're going to do it reversed. So an uppercase L, but reversed. So you're going to do it like this. wow so once you do this you're going to receive this prompt here you're going to select while using app so double tap once in talk back to select you need to double tap um, use voice commands google assistant so once you select voice command you're going to see google assistant so you do this and use voice command and then you say google assistant it might open um, the actual Google Assistant or it might open Bixby um, this device runs Android 12 so if you're on Android 11 I believe it will open Google if you're running Android 12 then it will open Bixby but it doesn't really matter because uh, we'll be following the same procedure um, so this device is at the April 2022 security patch I'm going to add these notes in the beginning of this video um, anyway so right here we're going to sign in uh, you're going to use your, of course, your um, Samsung account. Uh, I'm going to sign into mine right now. All right, so now we're going to, of course, go ahead and continue the uh, account signing process. Um, so here we are. Uh, get. Um, I'm going to cancel this. All right, so Welcome Bigsby Bixby. should be set up. You can talk to me anytime by saying. Alright, so Bixby is set up. Now let's right. Um, now, if you do not see this, as you can see here, um, so maybe it might be off the screen. To trigger Bixby, you're going to do this again, the reverse uppercase L. So of course, keeping in mind that Talkback has to be enabled to do this. Alright, so use voice command. Google Assistant. Chrome. So once it launches Bixby, you're going to say Chrome and it is going Here's to open the Google Chrome browser. And I am going to uh, provide you guys with a website which you would have to visit and then we'll continue the other steps. All right. Also keep in mind that the device, um, after being powered on for quite some time, it, it may reboot. So. Um, this is a very time-sensitive process 
and on otherwise you have to repeat the entire process of getting back onto google chrome um, so the url is bitly um sorry bit dot l y forward slash f r p underscore b twenty twenty two and then visit that link okay um at this time you could go ahead and disable talkback so that would be power and volume up to disable all right and from there you're going to scroll down um there's an app that we have to get um called android alliance so let's scroll all the way down until we see it um right um so you have opened the android alliance app uh, and you also have there's also an option to install it because it isn't installed um so this is the option that i'm looking for all right i believe it's in one of those urls um so what i'm doing now is basically following the um links on the site um i need to find a particular link which will allow me to install the android alliance app from the galaxy store um, if i do not get that link what i would have to do is go on to google and find it i can also of course update the url which i provided i'm going to do so if i encounter any issues so android alliance galaxy apps all right um right alliance shield i'm hoping that it opens galaxy apps which it did so we're going to continue um yes we're going to install um also keep in mind guys that uh you may you this app actually requires an account now i created an account um, dedicated to my channel this account may not work um i guess after some time however uh, you can use this account which is what i will be using in this video today um or if you do not want to use it then you can go ahead and register um you will of course need to verify your email so that username is popsprod2 and the password um, which I'll be providing um, you guys with. Alright, and you could go ahead and log in and you can name the device uh, Android 12. 12 FRP. Um, that's it. Uh, next device admin that's very important so be sure to activate this um continue Knox as well so activate this um, accept the terms and you should see a prompt you must see the prompt saying um I've completed successfully for both processes um you're going to click finish and now you're going to app manager and we're going to search for service uh, there's an app called service mode All right, so this is it right here um as you can see uh let me so this one um you're going to go over to activities scroll all the way down until you see uh usb settings and you're going to tap open and modem plus adb so you can see right here now we will be going on to our pc so be sure to have your um usb c cable in handy um so connect this cable to your piece to your device Right, so the cable is connected and my PC should detect the device as you can see right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to open the FRP tool and we're going to run as administrator okay so that's loading all right so now you want to scan for the device um, the device might also give you a prompt which is very important regarding ADB um, if you don't see it then you might have to try connecting again um, I didn't see that prompt and if I were to try most likely it would work but I'm going to click on my screen here uh, remove Google account okay 
um, as I mentioned it might not work because I didn't receive the prompt on my device so I may have to try again all right so here's the message so always allow then you tap allow here and we're going to try again I'm going to quit the app and I will open it up again now it looks like it's having some dependency issues I hope that's fine anyway so I'm going to open it up let's see what happens now um, scan okay so the device is detected and remove account Google right here okay so it's scanning device detected I'm going to hold the phone in my hand so you can see what happens the device will reboot security patch as you can see April 2022 and um, once the device boots up that's basically it guys um, you have successfully bypassed um, FRP lock on this device um, so I'm just waiting for it as you can see it's booting up now um, let's wait for it now there's a funny thing which happens when it boots up I will show you guys um, what happens so let's wait for this to um, complete all right here you can see right so this message comes up so let's try playing around with it for a bit um, let's turn off the screen then turn it back on okay and here you go that's it um, you have let's wait for it just before I end So you need to play around with it a bit. All right. Um, the device should unlock. All right. And that's it, guys. Um, now you could go over to settings. And um, you can go ahead and, of course, um, go to sign in to your Google account. And um, that's it. Uh, so Google and from there you would go ahead and put in your email and password all right so i have successfully signed in um next agree and uh, accept so that's it so guys we have come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i trust that i helped you guys out and if i did be sure to share that video with others give me a thumbs up and if you like my content subscribe to my channel uh, thanks again for watching and have a good one